Hello, how is everyone doing? It is your fallen angel back with another video. Today, we are continuing the series on Dark Psychology Explained, and we're going over a plethora of its topics, manipulation, persuasion, and how to get exactly what you desire. Now, today we are going over convenience. Before we get started, check us out on Patreon, Rumble, Twitter, Instagram, things of that nature. Also like and subscribe, and without further ado, let's begin. So, people hate expending too much effort. They won't do it if they think that the reward is not sufficient to compensate them. The most basic illustration of this concept is shopping. If you try to sell something that is priced at a more than its dollar worth, then people most likely won't buy it. You want to make sure that the people perceive that the effort they will expend is worth the reward that they will receive. So, if a val the value based on things are usually based on its rarity. It's usually based on desire. So, the more something is desired and the more it's rare, the more its price will be. The more common something is, the more or less it will be worth. And this also goes for your time. The more you're available in someone's life, the more common it is, the less it will be valued. Absence is power. This also applies for items and material goods. The more rarer it is, the more value it intrinsically will have. So it is essential that we present a certain level of value based on the reward that it will that they will receive so they will be diligent on how they spend their time or how they spend their money because this is convenient to them we want to make sure that the effort they put in will be received back either in the same level or back in even more level path of least resistance dark psychologist recognize that people tend to follow the path of least resistance they exploit this tendency by making their manipulative tactics seem convenient or effortless for the victim. For example, an abusive partner might create an environment where it is easier for their victim to comply with their demands than to resist. Also Stockholm Syndrome known, many abusers in relationships make it almost uncomfortable for their partner to resist. Rather, they make an environment where it's a complying compliment. They try to make them comply with the evils that they're doing. So they want to, this path of least resistance is how compliance happens. It's more convenient when it's more least resistant or like, because people do not want to be restrained. The path of least resistance allows for exploitations to seem convenient and effortless, you know? It's going to seem a lot more easy, malleable, and can suffice at a much bigger rate. There are numbers of ways to do this. One way is to be deceptive. Make something seem easy when it really isn't. Using a casual tonality will often set people at ease and will make them think that something is not a great big deal, even if it really is. You can talk up how a simple a task is, or a simple mention, it very casually to make it seem simple. So guys, we understand in the art of negotiation, in the art of getting what you want, being cold and detached is the perfect way to go about it. Being cold and detached is how you get what you want. You want to make it seem like, if I don't get it, good. If I do get it, good. Do you see how when I said that, my tonality remained the same, it stayed constant, because you do not want to be outcome hungry, right? You do not want to be outcome hungry. There's a quote by Jay-Z, he said, I'm not scared to lose, right? Because the ones that are scared to lose, end up losing, right? This fear you have of losing, will make you lose. The ones that are scared of losing, will end up losing. But if you're not in fear of losing, and you take the loss... It is fine, because you know you could stand up. You fall down seven times, you stand up eight. You must remain cold and attached. This is how you get what you want. This is more convenient. 
you want to be more deceptive on this. When you hold this cold and detached nature, you remain more deceptive. They can't read what you want. They are trying to anticipate what you want, whether you're a salesman, whether you're trying to pick up women, whether you're trying to pick up men as a woman, whatever it may be, you want to remain cold and detached. Therefore, they can never pick up on what your final motives is. This is how you use dark psychology to your advantage. Now, the reason we do videos like this is not only to educate you in dark psychology, but it's also so you could be weary of how people are using this against you. You can also present a really good reward. The better the reward, the more likely people will go the extra mile. So, whether this be allowing people, giving acceptance, giving approval, giving words of affirmation, using physical pleasure, things of that nature, the bigger the reward, the more likely people will go above and beyond, running back and forth like a soccer team, going the extra mile to try and ruin your approval, to try and be on your good side, to be enslaved by your thoughts and ideologies. In the world of instant gratification, many dark psychology techniques focus on providing immediate rewards or gratification to the victim. This plays on the human desire, or the limbic system that we know, for convenience and instant results. For instance, a scam artist might offer a quick and easy way to get rich, preying on people's desire for financial convenience. This is a perfect example not only to tie in convenience, but also the world of instant gratification. We live in a society where wealth, status, is completely displayed in our faces at all times. It's almost like this is what you got to be at, the pinnacle you have to be at, whether this be extremely wealthy or extremely status, high in status. People are striving for this. People are chasing this. Their ego is chasing this, right? So when you offer this at an easy way, well, people are going to fall for it very quickly because they become a slave to their desires. They're operating off their reptile and limbic system only. The neocortex isn't thinking, hmm, well, this method doesn't seem logical, nor does it seem like many people have succeeded off it, nor does it seem like it will work for me other than profiting you. They're not letting their neocortex think for them. So you can use this and people really use these type of Ponzi schemes, pyramid schemes in ways to make people think that they can get rich. Think of Forex, for example. Forex is a great example of this. Many of the Forex scammers start off by telling you, yes, just pay $150, start with our course, and before any time, you'll be making money while you're taking a poop. The truth is most of these people do not make many money, much money. Sure, there's plenty of people that, that actually do make money off the stock market, off these currencies, these digital currencies, Forex, things of that nature. But the ones trying to sell you a course are part of a scheme. Psychological shortcuts. Dark psychologists can exploit cognitive biases and shortcuts that people use for convenience in decision making. By manipulating these shortcuts, they can lead individuals to make choices that are not in their best interest. This can be seen in various scams and fraudulent schemes. So guys, just like we explained with the Forex and the Ponzi schemes, pyramid schemes, they will use these shortcuts and use your desires against you in order to create this sense of urgency, this sense of, I will get it instantly when really you will not get it instantly. That's not how any of this works. All of it will require hard work, some type of talent or some, some sort of effort on your behalf. These things that trick you are just ways to feed off into your desires. Do not become a slave to your desires because once you become a slave to your desires, it can be used right against you as a weapon against you. Social convenience, dark psychology may involve manipulating social dynamics to create a sense of convenience for the manipulator. For example, a cult leader might create a sense of community where followers feel a sense of belonging and purpose, making it convenient for them to stay in the group. Now, a lot of people stay in certain friend groups because they are scared to branch out. They are scared that they won't be accepted elsewhere. They're scared that 
if they leave this group, they won't be able to make any other friends. This happens in many friend groups. This also happens in cult groups. This happens in a lot of religions. This is not to go against any of the Abrahamic religions, but it's to understand this also builds a cult-like ideology, right? It should always be a free choice to practice what you want and understand the kingdom of heaven is within. It should always be a choice. It should never be forced amongst anyone. That is not the case with cult-like behavior. Technology and convenience. In the modern world, technology has made our lives more convenient, but also has set us in sorrow as well. But it has also provided new avenues for dark psychology, phishing, email, social media manipulation, and online scams all exploit the convenience of digital communication to deceive and manipulate. So guys, pretty straightforward off the technological ideology, but technology has a way of feeding into your subconscious. Everything you see off, off social media is feeding right into your cognitive impact. It's going right into your cognition. Everything you see, smell, listen to watching off tiktok every one minute this is all feeding into the subconscious feeding it energy feeding it ideologies feeding it new indoctrinations these alls are ways to market things to you this is how people become very very intertwined with consumerism because they're seeing products they're seeing people buy these products and being happy off buying these products or apparently being happy off be buying material goods and then they become consumers because they think that if i mimic this behavior i will feel good but this instant gratification will never make you feel full inside it will actually create more sorrow and emptiness in the long run so guys this was just a short video for the dark psychology explained on the concept of convenience and how convenience can be used against you. So feel free to check us out on Patreon, Rumble, Instagram, Twitter, things of that nature. Like and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below. I'd love to check them out. Other than that, guys, this was your fallen angel, and I am out.